Good morning, good afternoon. Hey, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Well, if the election didn't show you anything, I think it, it showed you um, just how, um, in my opinion, just how dysfunctional, how um, abused, and how much of a pain body that black people have to even entertain the idea of, of voting for Donald Trump. It just goes to me. It just shows you how, as a, a nation, how abused we are. How can a person, clearly, that's a social person, clearly, and not only for him, but the dangers of people that are around. And if you've never, and because you're around that personality so much, that's why you can, somebody can jump up from the dinner table and shoot somebody in the face just on another level is because we're so used to madness that it makes a Donald Trump okay. Because once your spirit begin to be able to recognize, you're not going to be thinking about, oh, he can give me some jobs. Oh, he might be able to give us rec a recreation, uh, uh, recreation, uh, reparations uh, uh, because you can appeal to his ego. But if you don't know and if you don't study, see, you have to study to show yourself approved. So when you out there making those blanket statements like, well, well, Joe Biden with this, and we'll see Joe Biden stand for this, and I don't see no different. Let me tell you something. And this is no disrespect for all of my people in recovery. This makes no, um, this is no um, disrespect to anybody that's suffering from challenges that they have no control over, okay? I just say get help, okay? Get help. Because when your problem starts affecting other people and bringing them down, then it is not just your problem. It is all of our problem, okay? And that's what happens with a lot of narcissistic parents, a lot of uh, parents who are uh, so driven by their ego, that they can't make a decision um, as to say this is another human being that I am that I am the potter and this is the clay and I am molding this clay. Okay, I am molding this clay because I only got certain amount of time before other influences are able to um, interject are able to um, expose my uh, child to different things. So those first critical years are so important. So important. A lot of y'all don't even believe that because a lot of y'all believe that. Take him out the bottle of that. Or oh, he too old to be walking around with pampers on. Uh, take him off the bottle. He too big for that. Just all types of mother. Don't play with me. Like one to say, don't play with me. No, just all types of crazy, dysfunctional, mental behavior that has become normal for us as black people. And that's why it was so easy for some of y'all to accept Donald Trump on a paycheck or on a premise that he may give $52 million billion to the black community. When have you ever known a nut? Forgive me. Well, that's what we're doing now? That's what we're doing. A lot of us, yes. A lot of us go to the picnic with the perpetrator that raped us. And the whole family knows, but we have to be quiet and just stay away from him because we're crazy. Instead of making that person be accountable for the behavior, that's a crime against the victim. 
we've learned to adjust and bend and twist around this rapist at the family reunion. And you don't think we sick? Because we don't want to give them to the white man. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Let me say something, and I want to make sure I'm clear about it. I'm glad that this election is over in so many ways. But I really do think a lot of y'all need to take some time and get some therapy for your mental health and find out how much abuse that you have just normalized. Find out what you think is just cultural uh, bias, a uh, uh, cultural uh, behavior, um, your ego. Um, it's a lot of narcissist people, you know, of course, on um the uh, you on the social media that think they know it all. Some of them only been on the planet two and three days, but they know everything and they know much so much better than the generations before them. Look at all the madness. And you know who mostly it is? Black people. White people on the internet having fun. For the most part. I was always told. Don't really put anything of great responsibility in a person's hand. That is a psychopath or a sociopath. Because you never know what that person will do. And more than likely it will be negative. It won't be positive. Because they have a disorder. And the fact that so many of y'all was willing to um, put the life of the country in that man's hands and don't see no difference because a few little policies and don't think that you may have a better, uh, that there's a lot more that just come from passing a bill or a lot more that comes with um, just being this person. It's 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 um it's an a form of abuse. It's a form of abuse for people to have to take all those lies. So when you tell your kid that you coming to get him on Friday and you never show up, and then they grow up and then you see them on paternity court because they all damaged because they came back waiting for you to give them a haircut, you don't think that's nothing. But for a kid, that's a whole lot. And since you don't have, a lot of y'all don't have the ability to understand just how much trauma, other than slavery, that we've been subjected to, I really uh, hope that you get in touch with your pain body. Because we got it. And it is so crazy and so obvious that you can't see that you have to get a person out of the office like that, that's mentally ill, that every day you turn on the set, you don't know what he's going to do. Who he's offended, what he's done, that's not good. All that cortisol shooting off in your body. Y'all don't even get it. You know why? Because your standard of crazy is already high. I don't want it. I don't want it. And again, there's some more than others. A little old man told me, and some, a little old man told me that, and some more than more. It's just that simple. I can't believe it. I, however, I'm happy that it's over. Um, and for some of y'all, thank God it's over. Thank God it's really over because. Y'all really showed y'all behinds. Lil Wayne, all of y'all. Y'all just, to me, it, it you know, it, it should really pretty much set show y'all what those celebrities are there for, in place for. That what they there for and what they what they represent in terms of white supremacy and term and, and determining and changing the way you think, the brainwashing. A lot of y'all should see that. Oh, but then again, again, like Willie Lynch said, don't even worry about them. They'll be so damn miserable. They won't know they ass from a hole in the ground. That's black people. Don't know they ass from a hole in the ground. Yes, I said it. And it's sad. 
It's not that I'm saying that it's great. It's not because it's me too. It ain't like I'm I'm not uh, uh, included in it. We are so messed up that those of us who are able to see and able to admit that we need help and we are damaged in more ways than one, we should be repulsed by that kind of behavior. A lot of people that are developed are repulsed by that madness, repulsed by it. If they're spiritually developed to some degree, they don't want nothing from that type of uh, energy. They want it away from them. I don't know, but not some of y'all. Some of y'all thinking he's going to give you some butter biscuits and you will to put up with the abuse. And then you got the nerve to talk about a woman who gets her ass whooped by her pimp. <laughs> the nerve to talk about a woman who gets her ass beat by her pimp. Because she wants some coins. Okay? Um... So let me get to this article because I, I I can just go in. Uh, Defiant Trump tweets through the night about tweets. Ain't y'all tired of this shit? Ooh, no, y'all ain't because you're crazy. Defiant Trump tweets through the night about his legal challenge to Biden victory. Lawyers claim Supreme Court could declare Pennsylvania votes unconstitutional. 9,000 non-residents voted in Nevada and witnesses say their votes uh, were denied. That's what he was tweeting all through the damn night. Now, the Philadelphia, the Philadelphia's Republican commissioner now calls Trump deranged for accusing him and his staff of voter fraud and reveals that the president's supporters have threatened to kill his officials. This is who y'all wanted and banking on to get some money from? Do you see how crazy y'all are? Tell me what you reckon go. Who gives a damn about Joe Biden? But look how damaged we are to, to be attracted and think this can help us. We already sick. Donald Trump represents the kind of uh, slave master that beat and beat and beat and beat and had no kind of remorse to what he did to black people that watched it. Like when he said, can you put some acid on those people or whatever he said, those immigrants? Can you make the spikes real uh, sharp? Can we uh, shoot them? Can He's the kind of slave master that would tie a man's leg one to the one and one to another and hit that horse. And y'all so stupid, you can't see the difference between a master like him and a master like somebody else. You better go back and read them, look at them slave chronicles. Ask the slave, get in touch with it. Who, what kind of master would they have rather had? John Brown was a white man. He didn't own slaves. But I'm sure you hear him saying in a conversation, oh, we do, we down from the old, down yonder from the uh, Brown plantation. Uh, he a good master. He a good master. He don't beat us. He, he fair with us. But y'all rather go with a deranged man and want some butter biscuits from a deranged individual and be fine with that. And got the nerve to talk about other people who see this man's mental illness and repulsed by it. It jumps out at him. It's beyond narcissism. It's narcissism with a being a lot of a sociopath, a psychopath. One of them, I'm not, I can't diagnose the man. And he made sure that no other uh, the, uh, psychiatrists could be made available so they could make assessments about him. What you doing? I'm on puppy watch, y'all. I'm on puppy watch. Just so y'all know. And she's been nesting. Although I got a spot in here, a pool for her to have her kids in. She likes to lay by the patio door, and it kind of concerns me. 
Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm going to say this and I'm going to be done with it. <clears throat> Donald Trump left. I mean, sent out a slew of tweets at midnight. Washington time. Showing his allies on Fox News. Ta uh, talking up claims of voter fraud and irregularities. As he refuses to concede to Joe Biden. In a series of interviews, the president's political allies and lawyers put forward the basis on which he will challenge the election result, including Ken Starr unconstitutional, um, oh my God. Uh, including Ken Starr, who said he expects the U.S. Supreme Court to overturn the ruling made by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court that ballots received late can be counted, saying it is unconstitutional. Republicans lawyer Harmeet Dillon also alleged that up to 9,000 votes in Nevada were cast by those who had moved out of the state and should be discarded. She also alleged that the people have contacted the campaign saying that when they went to the vote on election day, they were told that their ballot had already been cast. Joe Biden has been declared a winner of the election after he was projected to win Pennsylvania on Saturday. Though counts <clears throat> in a number of swing states are ongoing. Okay. And lastly, armed pro-Trump protesters have been gathering at counter uh, and at counting centers in Arizona and demand that the uh, vote counting continue in hopes of Trump of uh, overturning Biden's lead. Now, I just want to ask y'all something. It's been a lot of presidents, and like I said, it's not only about them being racist. Tell me, how come your guy? Everything since he stepped in office. Y'all won't even consider the fact that the reason why people jumped on him is because he was repulsive and they could recognize the mental illness. But they gave him a chance. How many of y'all also, because I agree with uh, that content creator, um, Lovely T. And I pay the same thing. And that's why I know on the spiritual level, uh, she's a, she's, she's pretty uh, on point. Because I, I felt the same thing. I talked with my brother. We were on the phone the next night. And when we seen Donald Trump, uh, Don Jr., I think it was Melania in there, uh, but he was in the room. He was sitting on the couch. And when they said he won, his face was like, and I've made a video about it. So I've never heard nobody say that, but my brother and I, and I think I've lately heard uh, one of his cores say something to that effect. And, you know, he really didn't expect this. Um, um but another thing is, you know, I, Donald Trump also knows that if he's not president, if you can't get him back up in there, he's going to jail. The guy's got rape charges. Um, do you find it interesting that uh, Vladimir Putin is refusing to congratulate Joe Biden? I mean, have you ever seen any trans uh, fur of, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying that I agree with Al Gore, but did you see people act like this? You think making America great now is getting guns and going to the polls. Let me make sure I get this right. All of a sudden, black people being hung by trees, a, a, a lot more. It, it's like an influx of it again. I'm not saying it's just started. But you don't see the pickup and the turn up since Donald Trump been in office? None of y'all. Okay. 
If you don't, you don't. But a lot of y'all, I would like to go and examine some of y'all wounds from childhood and see what they're about and see how much abuse have you endured and see if you've had the kind of upbringing just poor like a Donald Trump where you could never do nothing right for your mother, or you, especially if you're a black guy or your father, could never do nothing right for him. Okay, and they always put you down and called you names and did all the things that make them feel make you feel less than the things and the behaviors that create a Donald Trump. Yeah. A lot of y'all with it. And I see now. So I'm just going to leave it at that and just say it's amazing that world leaders who are not rushing to congratulate Biden. Putin and China say they will wait until the legal processes are complete. Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu goes out of his way to thank Trump after 12 hours of silence and says, and Saudi Arabia also stays silent. So we'll see. We'll see. And I'm not ever saying to y'all that America is not a cesspool of madness. You will never hear me say that. But you at least got to kind of clean it up with the people that um, are capable um, of being a somewhat objective, no matter even if they're angry and they don't want to. But their mental illness won't stop them from having any kind of empathy about the situation. Because you can't really get anywhere with anybody like that. And so I just wanted y'all to know that he's planning mass rallies um, where he's going to um, uh, brandish the obituaries of dead people. Uh, he claims voted as his legal team prepares for man-to-man -man combat. I mean, all the madness. When will it stop, y'all? And y'all really want four more years of that. Uh, America, America, God, shed his grace on thee.